Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my 2019 beauty favorites video. Can you believe it has already been a year? Can you believe? Can you believe? I feel like I just filmed this video. I feel like I say that every time I film these videos. I have been filming my yearly favorites videos since 2014. I feel like I've been doing this forever and every year it gets here faster. So you already know how these go. I'm gonna be talking about my top top, 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 top favorite beauty products of 2019. These are the products that I used the most throughout the year and they really stuck with me. They have become holy grail favorites. Really quickly, I want to say I'm not going to talk about my collabs in this video. I never talk about my collabs in my yearly favorites videos just because you know they're my favorites. I made them. You, you know they're my favorites. And I use them and I talk about them all the time throughout the year, so I didn't want to like overdo it. And another thing I wanted to mention is there are a lot of products that I'm not going to include in this video because I feel like it will just be way too repetitive. Repetitive. I'm gonna link my last two yearly favorites videos down below from 2018 and 2017 because I still love and adore those products and I go into more detail on certain products that I won't be talking about in today's video but like I said I still love them so I would highly recommend you watch those two videos I'm mainly gonna be discussing today the things that I discovered in 2019. Things that I started using for the first time this past year and that I really, really fell in love with them. Of course, I'm also gonna be talking about a lot of old favorites because there's just some products that can't be beat. Before I ramble on, let's just jump into it. Oh no, wait. I'm lying. I need to say thank you to you guys first because you are my first favorite of 2019. I cannot thank you guys enough with how patient and amazing you guys have been this past year. I have had the craziest year of my life. So many changes happened in my life this year, like more this year than any other year of my life. I am a creature of habit and I'm someone who really doesn't like change and I was faced with a lot of challenges and a lot of changes in 2019 and it honestly just made me realize that change is inevitable and necessary and a, such a beautiful thing and I feel like with what happened with Kale Polish and Lights Lacquer and everything that has happened this past year has just made me a stronger person, a better person, a, a kinder person. I really feel like a lot of the struggles that I went through this past year uh, were for a reason and were to teach me lessons and to make me a better version of myself for this next upcoming year. I have so many plans for the future. You guys have no idea. I feel like this past year was just getting me ready for 2020 and I'm so excited to show you guys what I have up my sleeve and I'm excited to get back out there and just focus on my passion and do what I love. I'm finally changing this beauty room. It's been under construction for months, but it's finally happening this week. I am, for the first time in my life, embracing, accepting, and welcoming change. And it's crazy, but I'm happy about it. So I honestly just wanted to say thank you because I have been going through it this year and you guys have been there with me every step of the way. I honestly didn't upload as much as I wanted to. My videos have been a mess. Like my schedule, the timing of my videos have been all over the place. I feel like my mind is a constant hurricane, but you guys just always calm the storm and you're always there to tell me it's okay and to just take time for myself. And I truly appreciate how kind you guys are and how supportive you are. I honestly wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you for making 2019 possible. Thank you for making my dreams come true. Thank you for everything. You are my number one favorite every single year. And I hope you know that. So with that being said, let's talk about my favorite beauty products of 2019. All right, I'm gonna try to breeze through these products because we don't wanna be here for 30 minutes. <laughs> So when it comes to primer, face primer, my favorite has been the same for I think about two years now. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer has been my holy grail for a long time. I have yet to discover something that I like more than this. Honestly, it's the best. It honestly is the only primer that works for my skin when it's extremely, extremely dehydrated. So many primers, I'll put them on and they'll just sink right into my skin even though they claim to be hydrating and moisturizing. Sure, they are in that moment, but it doesn't keep my face feeling moisturized throughout the entire day if that makes sense this keeps my face nice and hydrated and dewy for the entire day no matter how matte my foundation is i love how hydrating this is this is like holy grail for me forever you know that but I did discover this primer this past year and I truly, truly love it. I have used this so much. I would say besides my primerizer, this is my other holy grail face primer. I feel like I didn't really realize I liked it that much until I was noticing I was using it like every single day. But this is honestly such a great base for your foundation because it leaves almost like a tacky finish to the skin. Like as soon as you're done applying it and you just like press against your face, you feel like this stickiness and it's not something that's uncomfortable, but it's just such a great 
foundation gripper. I feel like my foundation applies so beautifully on top of this. I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks so fresh and dewy every time I apply any foundation on top of this. Sometimes I will honestly even use this completely on its own. I put something on my brows, a little mascara, a little concealer, and a little bit of this, and I just feel like it gives my skin a pick-me-up. It has such a beautiful radiance to it that, in my opinion, really does make your makeup last all day. It's not pore filling or anything like that. It's just really radiant and I love how foundation lays on top of it. I feel like every time I film one of these videos, I have a couple of foundations to talk about, but honestly, in 2019, this was my favorite foundation discovery, hands down. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. This has honestly become my favorite foundation at the drugstore, I think in general. Like I think overall, I do, uh, well, do you know that meme with the girl drinking the soda where she's like, well, mm, no, that, that's literally me. That's me. I don't know how, how that happened. Anyway, that meme is me. However, I honestly think this might be my favorite foundation at the drugstore. I do really love my Physicians Formula Healthy Skin Foundation that I spoke about in my last year's yearly favorites video. That one is absolutely beautiful, and I think I might like the finish of that one even more than this one, maybe. I just love how incredibly natural and long-wearing this is. It lasts a lot longer than a lot of my foundations, a lot of my high-end foundations. Very rarely do you find a foundation that lasts a super long time and that isn't really cakey, really matte, or really full coverage. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. It's full coverage, but in the most natural way ever. It has such a beautiful finish. I would say it's like a demi-matte, like a satin. It's not full-on matte. It truly does look like skin, but like perfected skin. And I know I've been talking about foundations a lot like that recently. For example, the Beauty Bakery one. There's a couple other ones, and I can't think of them off the top of my head, but honestly, this one is my favorite. I do like this one more than the Beauty Bakery one, even though I've been loving that one recently. It's just so affordable, so convenient. You can buy it at the drugstore, and it's a flawless finish that lasts a really long time. What more can you ask for, guys? It's beautiful. Hands down, my favorite foundation find of 2019. So, as you guys know, the Jouer High... Celine's dog hair is everywhere. The Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer from Jouer is my favorite concealer of all time. I spoke about it in my last year's favorites video. It's just such a beautiful concealer that looks flawless, that's full coverage, but that isn't cakey or drying on my super dry skin. I really, really love it. But I have to talk about the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer because even though this has been a recent love affair of mine, how long have I been loving this for like four months only. I know it hasn't been that long, but honestly, it has become one of my favorite concealers in the entire world. It's very similar to the Jouer one, only I find it to be a little bit more glamorous, like a little bit more high coverage and a little bit more matte, which normally that would scare me, but it's so beautiful and I don't need to set this that honestly, it's the reason why I love it so much. Even though I love this Jouer one, and I love it a little bit more, it's still a concealer that I do have to set with powder, because if not, it will really sink into my lines. And don't get me wrong, if you have lines, this will sink into it, but it almost leaves this like smooth, flawless, like poreless looking finish to the skin, and it really doesn't sink into your lines all that bad, and I honestly wear it all the time without setting it. It's the concealer I'm wearing today, and I didn't set it. It honestly has become my one and done, super fast, out the door concealer, because it's just an all-in-one. It's flawless, it's perfect, I love it so much. It's definitely been my favorite discovery of this past year, and I highly recommend it. Is good. I feel like I'm just gonna breeze through the powder category because this has not changed for me at all. I still love the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effect Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. This is still my number one, my holy grail. No other powder has come close to this. I don't think any, okay. Some have come close, but I don't think any powder will ever beat this. It's the best powder in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, the Glossier Wowder, amazing. Maybelline Fit Me Loose, powder, amazing. RCMA No Color Powder, amazing. There are many powders out there that I love and I highly recommend, but this one will always be my number one. Although this past year I did discover a powder foundation that I fell madly in love with. This is the JCAT Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. This has become one of my favorite powder foundations in the entire world. I also really, really, really love my Makeup Forever one, but I'm including this one in this year's favorites video because it's more affordable 
affordable and it pretty much does the same thing so I feel like if you're comparing the two this one is gonna be the winner not the color selection though the makeup forever one has a much better shade range than this that is definitely the only bad thing with this but besides that if you are able to find your shade this powder foundation is really really great it's affordable it lasts a long time on the skin it has pretty much full coverage for a powder and the best part is it's not drying whatsoever this one is very very natural in like a flawless way it's very similar to the foundation actually where you get amazing full coverage but it still looks like skin which is so rare for powder usually powder looks crazy on us dry gals but this is chef's kiss it covers everything you need it to cover without making you look like you're a thousand years old so that's awesome. I love this. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is the reigning champ for about, what, four years in a row? <laughs> no, it's been like three years in a row now. This is the best drugstore bronzer, one of the best bronzers in general. It will always win every single year. But I gotta mention the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200. This has become another one of my favorite drugstore bronzers of all time. It's the bronzer I'm wearing on my skin right now and I love it because it has the perfect undertone. It's not too ashy, it's not warm on the skin. It honestly is perfect. You can contour your face beautifully with this. I mean, obviously it depends on your skin tone, but I find that for me, it really contours my skin. Like it gives my face a nice shape, but it doesn't look muddy or ashy or like, oh, you have like gray contour on your face. And it kind of has like this soft sheen to it that just makes it so easy to blend out. I love this bronzer so much. The formula is great. The color is great. I love how it looks. Like every time I put it on, I just love this bronzer so much. Definitely my favorite discovery from the drugstore this year. I also loved the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in Icon. I was using this so much in 2019, but I think this was limited edition, so I don't think you can get any more, but I was using this a lot last year. By the way, if you see smoke behind me, I have a diffuser. Just in case you guys think it's Mari Sue in her truest form, as you guys know. She likes to appear in smoke. But anyway, let's move on to blush. You already know what I'm gonna talk about. You already know what blush won in 2019. Da, 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 da. I wanna say this was my favorite discovery of 2019, period. The Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes are hands down my favorite blushes in the entire world. When I discovered these these past year, I was truly blown away. There's something so special about these blushes. I can't even I can't even tell you what it is exactly. It just looks so beautiful on the cheeks. It has like this very soft sheen to it and I know a lot of other blushes do but there's something so magical about these blushes. I don't know if it's because they're primer infused but they last a million hours on my cheeks. Like I will have rosy cheeks at the end of the night. These blushes are really stunning. The colors are really pretty. A lot of them tend to be a little bit pinky. I hope they come out with like more colors. I would love to see more nudes or like rich berry tones or like an orange, or, like a bright shimmery orange. Please Buxom, come out with more primer infused blushes. I love these. If I had to recommend just one, like just one, I would say that my favorite is Dolly. I feel like Dolly is one of those blushes that you can just pair with absolutely anything and it'll always look good. It has, like I said, that really soft, just yummy sheen to it. It makes your cheeks come alive and it just makes you look like youthful and rosy and sheeny and I'm obsessed with these as you can already tell. I'm actually currently wearing a little bit of Mykonos which is like their bright peachy shade but I have a little bit of Seychelles right on top. I love adding this one on top of pretty much any of the other ones because this one in Seychelles is extra sheeny and it's like the highlighty one out of all of them so I love adding this as like the topper on top of all of these other ones. It's just such a pretty combination and I love these blushes so much and yes I love them so much that I'm not even gonna mention toasted cinnamon that's how much I love these although I still love Burt's Bees toasted cinnamon okay so for highlight can you guys guess okay it's a highlight that I've been wearing a lot in 2019 I wear it all the time it gives me a nice haze of highlight 
Can you guess? <laughs> the Artist Couture Summer Haze Highlight is a highlight I discovered in my BoxyCharm, I feel like in the beginning of the year, and then it started this like Artist Couture love affair. Actually, you know what? No. I think the first Artist Couture highlight I tried was La Peach, the collab with Jackie Aina, and then I've completely fell in love with that formula. These loose highlights are my favorite loose highlights on the market. I've tried Anastasia, can't think of other brands that I've tried right now, but out of all the loose highlights I've ever tried, the Artist Couture ones, the diamond glow powders to be exact are the best they are so finely milled they don't look chunky on your cheek at all I don't even know how to explain it it's like so fine and so perfect it looks wet on your cheeks truly a beautiful stunning highlight that honestly is worth the mess because you know how sometimes loose highlights will just get everywhere it's not as easy as opening a highlight like this and just throwing it on your face like this is a lot easier to use but this is so beautiful that I, I, I use it every time. It is worth it because of the true wet, yummy dewiness it leaves on your face. Hands down, my favorite highlight of 2019, for sure, I think. If you haven't tried them out, you need to. Okay, so that completes the majority of the face products. Now we can move on to eyes. Well, really quickly, let's talk about eyebrows. Like. Truly really quickly nothing will ever beat the nude sticks brow gel I can try a thousand other brow gels next year and the year after that and I guarantee you well Let me not say that let me not guarantee you but I can almost assure you that I will not find one as good as this I really really hope this is me manifesting This is me manifesting in 2020. I actually asked for this in my last year's favorites video So I'm gonna do it again nude sticks if you can come out with this product without this part I would really appreciate it because I honestly buy this over and over and over again just for the brow gel I do not use the actual brow pencil. So if you think about it, that's expensive like that's a waste of money I literally don't touch this side. I just don't like it It's like really rough and I'm not a big fan of it But the brow gel is so good that I, I spend the money on the whole thing because I think it's worth it It's the strongest brow gel I've ever used. It's the only one that leaves my hair like up straight up feathery intense the entire day you feel it at first like when you first put it on it feels like pretty intense and sticky but then that feeling goes away after a couple of minutes but it's just incredibly long wearing i'm obsessed and nothing will ever come close so i have nothing to talk about this year <laughs> that and my abh brow is my benefit precisely my brow i have yet to discover something i like more so I have nothing to say. For eye primer, last year I spoke about the P. Louise Makeup Base and it's still my favorite eyeshadow primer to date. I recently discovered last year the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer in the shade Invisi Pink. It's just like an invisible shade. I never really loved these clear types of primers just because I have a lot of veins on my eyelids and I try to use primers that have a color to them, that have a base like the P. Louise one. But this primer is no freaking joke and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it, not a lot of people love it, but it is such a, an amazing primer and I wish more people gave it a chance. I think it's because it is one of those invisible type of primers that a lot of people don't really love these anymore. But guys, if you apply this primer to your lid, just bare like that, just put it on first, let it sit there for about two to three minutes. I know that seems excessive, but this is the type of primer that you really have to let it dry. And I mean like really, really let it dry because it is a very sticky primer. Like when you apply it to your lid and it starts to sit there, you will notice that your lids feel like a little bit tacky and it's kind of like this intense feeling. But once it dries, it becomes like super glue for your eyeshadows. Your eyeshadows look so vibrant on top of this and they last all day. It's just such a bulletproof eyeshadow primer that I honestly think it doesn't get enough attention. It can be a little bit tricky though. For example, if you don't let this completely dry and you start to apply eyeshadow when it's still a little bit tacky, you will get some skipping. The eyeshadow will look extremely patchy because it won't look completely blended. So you wanna make sure that you are letting this primer dry completely before you go in with eyeshadow. But honestly, it is a bulletproof primer. So good. So you guys can probably guess. But I have been using my ColourPop So Jaded palette a lot along with my dream street palette my zodiac palette my zodiac pigment i when it comes to eyeshadows you guys know i have been really using a lot of color pop stuff obviously so i don't really have any eyeshadow palettes to talk to you guys about today in fact i don't really have 
eyeshadows to talk about besides the ones that you guys know I love and I use all the time but I do want to mention this because okay I feel like I've been mentioning this for years now I even spoke about some of these in my last year's yearly favorite but I truly love glitter toppers those single eyeshadows that come in those little pots that are either very shimmery very glittery they just have a bunch of sparkle and you can use them on top of any eyeshadow to just make your whole eye look transform. I have been loving that type of look for about two years now. Honestly, I'll just grab any basic eyeshadow palette, throw on a bunch of matte eyeshadows, and then I'll just grab any shimmery topper, any glittery foil type of eyeshadow, and I'll just press it on top of my lid, and I feel like it makes such a difference and to me it just looks prettier and shimmerier and sparklier than a regular eyeshadow from an eyeshadow palette you just won't get that same effect from a regular shimmery eyeshadow like a regular single you just won't so I honestly feel like I'm always on the hunt for the next best glitter topper I love the hourglass scattered light ones the Marc Jacobs sequins the J cat prismatic ones are amazing and those are super affordable there's so many on the market that I love and adore and this past year, I discovered a huge favorite. Oh my gosh, I also love the Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadows that I mentioned last year. Those are freaking amazing. These are also freaking amazing. These are from the brand Artist Couture, and these are the Diamond Light Finishers. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how Mac Daddy makes the finest freaking little sparkle, but he does. And these are truly no exception. They come in a bunch of different shades, but as I'm currently remodeling my beauty room, and <laughs> I have so much of my makeup just like stored in a box right now. I can't find the other shades, but this one in the shade Nebula is my favorite one anyway, so I'm glad I found this one. It's the one I'm currently wearing on my eyes right now. I'm gonna tell you what's on my eyes. So I am wearing the ColourPop So Jaded palette all over my eyes, albeitly. I have amethyst like really close to my lashes, and then I have some other mattes like in my crease. But that really beautiful sparkle you see on my lid is the Artist Couture Diamond Light Finisher in the shade Nebula. And honestly, it's the most stunning, sparkly, shimmery glitter topper in the world. I don't know how to describe it or how to explain my love for this, but it is truly eye-catching. Anytime I'm wearing any of these on my eyes, someone is like, what is on your eyes? It's so sparkly and so beautiful. And it honestly just transforms your entire eyeshadow look. I'm wearing um, Icy Girl on my inner corners right now, by the way. I forgot to mention that. That is the white shimmery goodness you see on the inner corners. These are just so freaking amazing. I highly recommend them. Okay, when it comes to eyeliners and mascara, I have not been impressed. I either haven't been impressed or we haven't seen many releases when it comes to mascaras and eyeliners, let me tell you. Because I feel like I haven't fallen in love with a mascara in 2019 like have you guys seen me completely rave about a mascara this past year no I feel like I have the same favorites I did last year and I mean I'm happy about that because it, I mean it shows how amazing these mascaras are but at the same time I'm like Come on, brands. Can you at least try to one-up these guys? Maybe? I don't know. The Lancome Monster Big Mascara is my favorite mascara. It gives me so much volume. It makes my lashes freaking black as heck. It is super, 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 super intense. <laughs> like, really, really intense. I have yet to find a mascara that is as volumizing, as dramatic, as amazing as this. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara is still my favorite from the drugstore. I still have yet to find one that's better or just as good from the drugstore. And this will forever be the best tubing mascara in the entire world. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, buy one and it will change your life. They are the easiest mascaras to remove in the world. They come off like little tubes when you wash your face. It's so convenient and this is the best one in the world, it's the mascara I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It's super volumizing, very thick, very black, and the formula is incredible, and yeah, I just, I can't find mascaras to beat my my holy grails. So I don't know, maybe for my 2020 yearly favorites, I'll have other mascaras to talk about, who knows. But these babies have taken the crown two years in a row. Dee, 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 dee. Same goes for eyeliner. The Marc Jacobs Highliner eyeliners are the best eyeliners in the world. Super long wearing. They come in a bunch of different colors. You cannot beat these. They are so good and I haven't tried out an eyeliner I like more than this. The Balm Schwing Liquid Liner 
still the best matte black liquid liner ever to exist. I still use my M Cosmetics black eyeliners all the time. These are their matte gel pencils. I love these. They're very, very black. And of course, the ColourPop creme gel liners are the affordable versions of the Marc Jacobs eyeliners. I don't think they're as good as the Marc Jacobs ones, only because they don't last as long. If they lasted a little bit longer, they would literally be the exact same as the Marc Jacobs ones. That's the only difference between these two, but honestly, it's worth it to just get the ColourPop ones because they're so affordable and they come in so many different shades. I'm actually currently wearing Charmer, which is one of their newer shades. Okay, so yeah, technically we have some new eyeliners to talk about this year. The new ColourPop Creme Gel liners, the new colors, they're really amazing, really creamy, buttery smooth. I love their eyeliners. I feel like out of all of their products, this is something that's totally underrated from them. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about how badass these eyeliners truly are, so... Just wanted to give another mention for another year in a row. So yeah, I'm sorry the rest of these categories are very boring. I just can't seem to find products that beat these. If you have products that beat these, leave them in the comments below and I will check them out for sure. All right, so now that we are done with the eyes, let's move on to lips. I don't have a lot to talk about in the lip category. In fact, I have like three, three products to talk about <laughs> and two of them are lip liners. So I have one lip product to talk about and I don't even have to tell you guys what my favorite lip liner of 2019 is. Can you take a wild guess? What is my favorite lip liner of 2019? Did you say Pat McGrath? Ding 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 ding. The Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Pencils are the best lip pencils on the market. I will fight somebody who tells me otherwise. These are the best lip liners in the world. Look where my contour is already. To be honest, I can't believe I'm not done with contour. I use these a lot as well. This is super natural and this one is done undone, but I use contour like it's going out of style. This is like my everyday lip liner. I just, I cannot find lip liners that are better than this. They are super creamy. They glide on the lips. You can overdraw because they're just so glidey and they're so smooth. The formula is incredible, yet it lasts a trillion years on the lips. How? I don't know, but they're the best and they're definitely worth the price tag in my opinion. With that being said, I also want to mention the Alamar Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner because I have been using this so much ever since it came out. This color is actually a very, very, very close dupe to my contour lip liner. They are almost the exact same color. This is actually the lip liner I'm wearing on my lips right now. I have a little bit of this with a little bit of love from nude sticks on top and then I have a little bit of roundabout gloss on top of that but these eyeliners are truly amazing as well they're very pigmented they just glide on the lips she has two different shades and Dulce is my favorite because like I said it's a dupe for Kanto. Okay, and then like I said, I have one lip product to talk about. And honestly, I have several lip products I was loving in 2019. But you guys have to understand, I am constantly testing out new products. I get like new lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, lip liners. I get that all the time in PR. And don't get me wrong, I'm very, very grateful for that. But it's hard to commit to one lip product when you have so many in your collection and you're constantly trying to test them out. But I do want to say that in 2019, actually, I, I probably said this in 2018 as well because... The years are just going by, but I have been loving gloss more than anything for like what feels like the past year, but probably the past two. I honestly never was a gloss girl. I was a matte liquid lipstick girl through and through, but recently I'm just, I'm a gloss fanatic, guys. And I feel like my favorite gloss discovery in 2019 was the So Juicy Plumping Glosses from ColourPop. And I felt like this was an acquired love. I didn't love these right off the bat. I mean, they were good. I used Princess Cut all the time as like a lip plumper, but I never used any of the other colors all that much. To be honest, I think it's because of their packaging. I don't think that this is a very appealing packaging. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is very nostalgic to what glosses used to look like back in the day, like, like in Victoria's Secret, or just like what glosses used to look like in the 90s, like with these little squeezy tubes. But I don't look at this packaging and think, oh my God, let me put that on my lips right now. Like I just naturally gravitate towards something that has a wand that I can apply like this. I don't know why, but the more that I use these colors, the more I completely fell in love with this formula. I am addicted to these so juicy glosses. Roundabout is hands down my favorite one. Like if all of them had to disappear and I could only keep one forever, I would keep Roundabout just because I think it pairs so beautifully with like cool tone lip liners or even super warm lip liners like contour, for example. It's such a beautiful nude pink and I wear this all the time. Like I said, I just love this formula so much. They are plumping, but they don't hurt your lips at all. It's not like extremely tingly. It's just like a slight, 
slight little tingling sensation, but nothing that hurts. And I honestly don't think it's a very noticeable plump that happens. Like if you're looking for a super plumping Too Faced lip injections kind of situation, you're not gonna find it with this. But it does make your lips look super, super juicy like extra juicy. They're very pigmented, they're very creamy, but they're also very, very shiny. And I, honestly, I don't know what it is about it that just makes your lips like look so pouty and yummy and you just wanna like eat your own lips. I know that's weird, but they're good. You should definitely check these out. They have a ton of different colors. They're just all so, so good. And definitely my favorite glosses of 2019, which is shocking because I would have never thought that like the first time I tried these, you know? We are almost done with this video. I know we've been here for a long time. Bear with me. I know what you're thinking, Kathleen. You're gonna talk about the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray again, aren't you? Because it's the best setting spray to ever exist. So yes, I am. Everything about this is just so good. The mist being the number one thing. No other face mist will come close. It's just so fine and just continuous. It's just, ugh. Exceptional. You guys know how I feel about this. Best setting spray, hands down. However, this past year I discovered my love for the Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. I love this. This mist is truly a dry girl's dream. While I love the Morphe setting mist and it does leave my skin like nice and plump and hydrated and it melts all the products into my skin and it's awesome. It doesn't leave my skin with the dew and the glow that this does. This is truly the best dewy setting spray I've ever tried. I, I like it more than my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So many of those face mists that are meant to give your skin like that dewy appearance. The face mists that are not necessarily there to make your makeup last all day, but to make your skin look super, super wet and dewy and delicious, this is the best one. And it's honestly the most affordable one that I've tried out of all of those. It leaves your face with this like, even the mist is pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. But it leaves your face with this like juicy, dewy, I keep saying the same words over and over and over again. But like how else am I gonna describe this besides juicy and dewy, tell me. Your skin, once it dries, remains looking so dewy and wet. And even though your skin is like dry, it still looks dewy and hydrated. It's so crazy, I love this thing so much. I use it as a primer, as a finishing spray. I use it sometimes when I'm not wearing any makeup, when I look hella dry. It truly is magic in a bottle. I don't have any other face mist that makes me feel the way that this one does. It is chef's kiss. <laughs> okay, so we are pretty much done with my favorites video this year. I do have three more products to talk about, but they are not makeup products. These were the standout products of these categories. I know I usually do like a non-makeup favorites of the year, but I don't know if you guys were, would even be interested in that. So I kind of just pulled my number one skincare favorite of the year, my number one perfume favorite of the year, and my number one hair care favorite of the year. At least my favorite discoveries of this past year. So when it comes to skincare, I honestly feel like my favorite discovery of 2019 was the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I'm about halfway through this thing. I love this. Even though this smells like rancid dog piss because it smells like poison, freaking garbage. It smells terrible. Even though it smells like ass, I still use it and I still rub it on my face because what this does to my skin is unbeatable. It's definitely my favorite brightening serum that I've ever used. I use this on my skin about two times a week and it is truly a holy grail skincare product of mine. Every single time I use this, the next day when I wake up my skin looks brighter like healthier more like exfoliated and smoother and plump it truly is a beautiful freaking serum I love this it does wonders for my skin and it's crazy because I personally don't love that many things from glow recipe this is the only thing that really knocked my socks off and it really knocked my socks off so I must say this is my top skincare favorite of this past year even though it stinks. That's how you know the formula is good, when I sacrifice the way my freaking face smells for at least 20 minutes. And then my number one hair care product of 2019 is actually the IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. This is a keratin-like treatment in a can. It also has 24-hour frizz control and it is a heat protector at the same time. This thing is freaking amazing. Like if you have frizzy hair um, that you iron a lot and you feel like no matter how many times you iron your hair, it stays a little bit puffy, a little bit frizzy, 
You will freaking love this. I'm gonna read it straight off the can because it explains itself better than I do. This is a protein infused smoothing spray that gives you keratin treatment like results without damage. The spirulina protein leaves hair healthy, shiny, and sleek while innovative bonding polymer mimics the coating of a keratin treatment. Styling time is quicker it definitely is quicker and hair is left frizz free humidity resistant and dramatically softer and shinier 1000% you basically use this right after you wash your hair like when you get out of the shower you just spray this all over your damp hair but you want to do it in sections so that you make sure you are coating every single strand of your hair you don't want to overdo it you can apply too much of this you will have like this weird film on your hair but if you just apply a little bit of this like throughout the strands and then comb it out with a brush when you go to blow dry your hair or when you go to iron it or anything like that your hair looks like 10 times shinier and 10 times sleeker and straighter it honestly does make you feel like you just did a keratin treatment at the salon <laughs> I swear by this stuff and I feel like I cannot iron my hair without it. I, I don't have it in my hair today, but it truly is my favorite hair care discovery of 2019, hence freaking down, hands down. Okay, and then last but not least, my perfume favorite of the year. This was tough because I have a thousand perfumes and I'm constantly trying out new ones and it honestly feels like every single month I'm falling in love with a new perfume but in 2019 this was my favorite perfume discovery for sure this is honestly the perfume I used the most in 2019 which is saying a lot it is so good and it has become one of my top five perfumes of all time in general this is the only one from Dolce & Gabbana and it reminds me a lot of YSL's black opium if you've ever smelled that but 80 times better in my opinion Opinion. Not only does it smell better than black opium, but it lasts a lot a lot longer than black opium like a lot this is one of my most complimented perfumes one of my most long wearing perfumes i will wear this in the morning and i shit you not i smell it the next day like the next morning i still smell it it lasts forever and it really it just meshes well with my body chemistry it just warms up to my skin and it's just so yummy and cozy and sexy and sweet and oh I would have of course already had the notes pulled up here for you guys but it smells like the one that got away you know like that girl that you loved once but she got away <laughs> point is it smells really 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 good like really good so good that it's my favorite of 2019 i think that you will love this if you like sexy sweet scents and if you were a fan of black opium i think you'll be a fan of this one as well but okay guys that completes this video oh my gosh we are finally at the end i feel like i've been sitting here for hours these were all the products i was loving in 2019 my top 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 favorites of the year there were so many products i didn't get a chance to mention in this video because i didn't want this video to be an hour long these were still some of my top 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 picks of 2019 and these are all holy grail products for me i would love to know what your holy grail products of 2019 were what were your most used beauty products this past year what were your favorite discoveries what were your top picks i would love to know leave them in the comments below but that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so 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 much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye but this is so beautiful the colors are really really stunning oh my god i rolled under my neck honestly my um shelf eats all my makeup it eats it all well because i drop everything and it has actually made me fall and it uh... okay we are getting towards home oh my gosh i just <laughs> just woke up tv sorry my little teeps i'm sorry i didn't mean to wake you up <laughs>